Hey, what's up? I'm Inezalea and today I will be showing you how to create this awesome Christmas trailer title in Adobe After Effects. So that looks really really cool and especially with Christmas lying around the corner it's the perfect timing to show off your skill set with Adobe After Effects so that's why I know it's been a while since I've made an After Effects tutorial that's going to change I will be uploading more frequently on After Effects but a lot of things were going on and After Effects tutorials really require a lot of time so here we are again with an introduction tutorial if you don't wish to follow this tutorial or you want to support our YouTube channel you can always buy this template on our website we have an essential graphics template where you can change the text and the colors in Adobe Premiere Pro we also have an After Effects template where you can modify the template with After Effects we have a plugin version and a no plugin version so people without Trapcode Particular can also benefit from this the templates also include a short tutorial on how to modify everything so it's simple and clear for everyone and yeah without further ado let's start with the tutorial for this tutorial you will need a plugin called Trapcode Particular if you don't have that I would really encourage you to go and buy the template without the plugin version so you can go ahead and use that and play around there a little bit and apart from that if you have everything and you're ready to go let's fire up Adobe After Effects and get started If you enjoy my videos be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. In After Effects go to bits per channel and change it to 16 then click OK and create a new composition. Make this composition full HD 30 FPS and 5 seconds long. Create a new solid layer and rename it background. Go to effects generate and gradient ramp. Change it to a radial ramp and pick the colors of your preference. I'll pick a nice blue tint color which goes very well with warm colors like orange as these colors are complementary and also very Christmasy. Go to your text tool and enter your texts like Christmas and I'm using the font Lobster which you can download at devfont.com. Center your text, go to layer styles under layer, layer styles, gradient and we're going to open up the gradient overlay, edit the gradient and add your colors right here. I'm going to use four orange colors to have a little bit of variation going on. Click on your layer, go to layer, pre-compose your text, title and click OK. Duplicate that layer by going to edit and duplicate and we're going to apply the generate fill effect make it black go to effects again perspective and bevel alpha we're going to change the intensity to one and the angle to zero and there we have a nice highlight change the blending mode to screen duplicate that layer also and change the angle to 180 so we have a highlight on the bottom and this is really going to pop our effect Select all the layers, layer pre-compose, and there we go. Create a new solid layer, make sure this is white, and duplicate that solid layer, and now make it black. Then make sure the white layer is on top, and then we're going to our mask tools, and use the ellipse mask. Then from the center, make a perfect circle like this and using the control and shift or alt key. Then open up the mask options, change the feather to 200 and animate the mask expansion. So at the beginning, we're going to lower this until we can't see our white solid layer. Click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. And then at one second, we're going to increase it until the solid layer fills our screen. So now we have this animation. Go to effects and presets. 
and search for roughen edges and apply this to our white solid layer and then we're going to change our border to 300 and our complexity to 10. Select these layers, pre-compose them and rename them transition mat. Now for the track mat of our title design, we want to change this to a luma mat so we actually reveal it using our transition layer. This looks really cool. Okay, so now I'm going to pre-compose these two again, layer pre-compose them and duplicate it. Here we're going to apply our shine effect. So we're going to effects, blur and sharpen, CC radial fast blur, change it to the brightest and 95 amount. Now go to effects, color correction and use a tint effect to colorize it. So you use a warm color, something like orange again and click OK. Change the blending mode to screen to really make it pop. And there we have it. We can still change the color to a warmer color if we want, like this, and click OK. And there we have this kind of animation, which is really cool. Now all we want is to fade it off using the opacity. So create a keyframe for opacity and fade it off over time. Create a new solid layer and these are going to be our particles. We're going to add the effect trap code particular, which is a third party plugin. And then open up the emitter tab and here we're going to use a box emitter type and change the emitter size to XYZ individual and just cover the text. So uh, change the X and Y until our text is covered like this. Okay, for the velocity, we can change this to something like 200 and the random to 100 particles per second. And this animation is what we have. Particles per second, we can change to 450. And all we want to do is create a new keyframe for that. And one frame further, we're going to change it to zero. So they actually stop emitting at that frame and then they will fade off over time using the life. So open up the particle tab, change the life to one. So they actually fade off sooner. We can also play with the size and the size random here. Okay, and then go to opacity over life and change it to the preset with the flicker. And this is the last preset. This is going to make it look like some kind of fireworks, really cool. Then offset the timing to your preference and change the color to a nice orange. Duplicate that layer and now we're going to add some variation in this size. Also the feather, zero this out. And go to the first frame where the particles per second are 450 and change this to a different value, something like 80. And then drop the opacity a little bit so we have a little bit more variation and this is what we have really cool create a new solid layer again particles and add the trap code particular again and now we're going to add our snowflake so here again the box emitter type xyz individual but now we're going to cover our entire screen and zero out the y so they are actually starting from one place. Change the gravity to 150 under the physical tab so they actually drop down like this. Solo the layer so we can see it a little bit better. And then move them up off screen so they actually emit off screen. We don't see them starting. And then also offset the layer a little bit more towards the beginning so they actually start emitting earlier uh, in the beginning of our animation. Okay. Then go to the air tab under the physical tab, turbulence field and change the effect position to something like 200. This animation is going to be way too fast. So we want to change the scale to one and the speed to five. Now we have a subtle movement going on and we can also play with the wind towards uh, the camera, uh, which will make a little bit more variation.
open up the render settings motion blur and turn it on. Change the size of these particles to a little bit uh, lower and also the random to 100. I will change the size to 2. We can also change the color to a warmer color and then duplicate that layer. Go here to the uh, texture polygon colorize or fill and choose your sprite. You can actually download our snowflake with the link in the description and open that up. Click OK and now you have a snowflake. Remove the motion blur from this layer. We don't want that. And then change the size to something like 25 so we can actually see our snowflake. Go to the rotation and change it to rotation random 100. Also change the birth rate so a little bit lower so we don't have as many. And play around with the box size again. I'm going to increase the life so we can actually see them all the time, they don't fade off. Then make your titles 3D and create a new camera. Make it 35 millimeters and add a new null object also. Make this a 3D null object and this is going to be the control of our camera so bind your camera to this null. Then click on the stopwatch for the position, move that keyframe a little bit more into time where our title is revealed. Then go back to the beginning and zoom in with the Z position forward with our null object. And this is going to add a zoom out effect until our title is revealed, which really makes it very cinematic, very powerful. Now play with the timing, go a little bit more into time again, add a new keyframe and then farther add a keyframe where it's actually zooming in again. So we actually fade off with a fly through our text. And there we go. Okay. And now what we want to do is again, use that shine effect. So we are going to create new keyframes uh, starting from zero and, and, and ending with 95%. Make sure that you also animate your opacity because we actually faded off our previous keyframe. So play around with your keyframes until you have your preferred effect. And there you go, you have the entire effect. You can finalize it with some color grading, some glow and play around. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, give this video a like. Definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers, whether you're an amateur or a professional, uh, just go ahead, check it out. A lot of cool stuff there. And also subscribe to our channel. We are uploading on a regular basis. Apart from that, I'll see you in the next one and goodbye.